Hello aspirants, this is a complete new YouTube channel for agricultural engineering students who are preparing for GATE. Now you can rely on this channel for your great preparation and you will get all the relevant material related to your studies. You can post your query in the comment box below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. So here we go. This is introduction 1.1. Here I will be dealing with some more generalized concepts like when to prepare, when to prepare, how to prepare, from where to study, how much to study. So the subsequent part will come as introduction 1.2 and 1.3. You can follow that video as and when they will come. So a small introduction about me. I am Abhadrawal. This guy is me. You can see here. I got All India rank first in 2013 gate examination. I completed my BTEC from Allahabad Agriculture and MTech from IT Kharagpur in Farmers India and Power. So let's go ahead. Here are the contents I will be dealing on this topic today. First, why you want to do gate? A uh, general questions. All these questions will come in mind of any aspirants that how much it is difficult to crack this exam and when to prepare how to study and what are the different questions which will you will be encountering in your exams so gate is not all about your admission in postgraduate it is also about your all round preparation in your undergraduates whether you want to appear for any interview after your completion of 8th semester or you want to pursue any higher degree in terms of research other than GATE if you want to do any MS so the study of GATE will help you to formulate your concepts to give you a command on numerical question so, so that you will be on a much more better position than your fellow classmates this exam as you all must be knowing that this exam is conducted by 7 IIT and Indian Institute of Science that is in Bangalore. So you can get admission in any IIT with your GET score whether IIT Kharagpur or IIT Mumbai. We will discuss about this later what are the various branches available at different different IIT. So for now we will be focusing more on the completion of syllabus after that as and well this exam will come we will be sharing you much more information so also if you want to do a job after BTEC you will not get a job in research and development center or you will not get a job in more, or more of a technical department so a gate is required nowadays because the market is demanding it even if you want to do a job you can go for gate many companies are now requiring the gate score to check your knowledge whether do you have a required technical knowledge in your field or not so any students who also don't want to do mtech so you can also prepare it will be good for you to prepare for gate how difficult it is to crack now the second question comes many of your senior will tell yeah, I have prepared for two and a half year, I prepared for three year, even I am not getting through. So don't be demoralized by such a comments. It is definitely the easy exam as compared to IIT. You all know that even you cannot get through the IIT, but you can definitely get through the GATE exam. And also this exam is very much less competitive as compared to other branches such as mechanical, electrical, electronics, civil. So you will find this exam less much competitive and even in lesser marks you can get better colleges, trust me. So these are the various problems which you will face while preparing because you don't have much study material. What you have Sanjay Kumar only or in which also several numericals are not solved in a proper manner. So lots of difficulty will come when you will prepare for this exam. So now, from now, don't worry, this channel will be a much more support than any other books available in the market. And now, don't worry about any proper guidance. 
you will be here for providing you each and every guidance so now you will ask sir from when to start preparing this exam if you have completed your second year then it is the best time to prepare even if you are in fourth year or you have completed your third year examination then don't worry even in six month or eight month duration you can prepare quite well and you can score uh, around 40 or 45 50 months so that you can get any good colleges just you need to study hard be focused on the numerical questions be solved the past year questions that is the key to success for gate you cannot ignore the past year question paper at any cost remember this thing you cannot ignore past year question paper at any cost so for a beginner i would say if you are in uh, first year or second year start preparing simultaneously because the syllabus of your gate and your curriculum syllabus is quite similar just open the syllabus of gate match it with your curriculum syllabus and complete those topics which are common in both the areas but basic difference will be there in college you have to deal more with the theoretical part but here in date you have to deal more with the numerical part so try to solve as much as possible you can and if you are getting any difficulty you can get back to us we will provide you the proper guidance so according to me best time is after the second year if you have started preparing it is well and good if you have not started preparing you can start preparing from now so now the basic question will come how to study because from first year to fourth year there will be lots of books lots of topics and the syllabus is huge so you cannot study each and every book you cannot remember each and every formula you cannot understand each and every concept so how you will study you have to study the most important topics from each and every book from where the gate is asking question after year and year when you will go through the previous year question paper you would realize that from hydrology each and every year they will ask question from hydrograph they will ask question from time of concentration they will ask question from design peak rainfall peak discharge flood hydrograph bonding terracing irrigation efficiency coefficient of traction tractive efficiency these are the various core area of gate from where they will ask question in each and every year so you cannot ignore this topic at any cost from all the books you can make note of each important topic we will be covering that each and every topic in detail with formulas and with numerical examples so you can follow our lecture series or you can yourself distinguish that topic from the previous year question paper as you wish but we solve the numerical questions as much as possible so the numerical question is key to success for get now as i told you that there are certain favorite area of get let's say for example if you take if you do so much your concentration in surveying the surveying and leveling you will under, you will study most of you will study in their third semester course but only two or three mark question will come from that topic so if you give so much attention to a subject where you will hardly get a single question or maybe you cannot get any question then it will be a waste of energy and the syllabus is huge so that you cannot give your so much time on a single subject so you need to focus on an area where you can you have the maximum probability of getting a question we will share you that in detail but for now you can note that if you are studying how much Indian power then you need to focus on the key area of concepts such as what is field capacity what is field efficiency and more than that how to calculate these parameters what are the various type of sprayers how to calculate the spraying capacity of any sprayer how to 
how the mower works what is the shaft length of cutting so these are the various area you need to understand more you you need not to go into how a uh, how a uh, cooling pressure system of a tractor works because this is not the question theoretical question they will be asking they will be asking you how how much should be the speed of a fan in cooling system so that proper cooling can be achieved so you must be in a position to solve the numerical question even if you are not able to understand the theoretical part of it okay i hope you got the point so from this slide you can see what are the various subjects and what is the percentage of this marks this is showing the subject and on y axis you can see how much marks more or less this is the approximate figure you cannot completely rely on this chart okay from this slide you can see now what are the various books and from where you can study so i will be sharing these books and resources in detail in upcoming videos we will come with uh, introduction 1.2 in which we will be sharing you detailed resources about farm machinery and power we will come with introduction 1.3 in which we will be sharing the detailed resources about soil and water conservation engineering so friends i hope that you like this video introductory video please do like share and subscribe this channel because i know there are not various resources available especially for agriculture or engineering students and i got several mails from the students and in my personal mail that they want to prepare but because of proper improper guidance they are not able to prepare so that i must come up with this channel so that i can help each and every students who want to who really want to prepare so this is the gateway to gate so please enjoy this channel thank you thanks a lot